my dear students good morning this is deepak kumar and today i shall be discussing with with you the chapter weathering the storm in irsama that is written by harsh mandir the famous uh, social activist and writer first i will give you the summary of this chapter and then i will discuss some of the question and answers of this chapter okay dear so let's start Weathering the storm in Irsama narrates the the adventures of a young man Prashant who was marooned on a rooftop for two nights following a dead full storm dreadful storm the calamity was struck on 27th October 1999 Prashant had gone to the coastal town of Irsama in Orissa to spend a day with his friend 7 years after his mother's demise it was that fateful day the storm lashed in full fury with heavy wind and rain trees were uprooted houses were flooded and people were stranded for two days everyone took refuge on the roof till the situation calmed down a bit although everyone tried to persuade prashant to stay for a few more days as the situation had not fully settled he was determined to move ahead using a stick to guide him he waded his way through the water to his village that was situated 18 kilometers away once there he sought the assistance of red cross to find out the whereabouts of his family slowly he found each one of them the orphans and the uh, widows were taken care of by this young man okay now let us discuss its question and answers think about it number 1 what havoc has the super cyclone wrecked in the life of the people of orissa the cyclone brought with it heavy rains and strong winds as a result a majority of houses were demolished or blown away and only the the strong cement houses were spared dirty water covered the land as far as the eye could see many people lost their lives floating human bodies and bloated animal carcasses were seen all around The strongest of the trees had been uprooted. The scenes were gruesome. Many people lost their relatives and many children had become orphans. There was shortage of food. People were sad and helpless and a pall of gloom had descended on the people all around. Question number 2. How has Prashant, a teenager, been able to help the people of his village? Answer. Prashant set out on his trip back to his village that was 18 kilometers away with the help of a sturdy stick. He tried to get a grip over himself because he was shocked when he saw the effects after the cyclone. He decided to step in as the leader of his village. He organized a group of youths and elders to jointly pressurize the merchant to give rice for the people living in the shelter. He was successful in this task. He then organized a team of youth volunteers to clean the shelter and to tend to the wounds of the people who had been injured in the cyclone. Prashant also brought a number of orphan children together and constructed a polythene shelter for them. While women were mobilized to look after them, the men secured food and other essentials for the shelter. When he realized that the women were becoming too grief-stricken, he persuaded them to start working in the food for work program. which was initiated by an NGO he also organized sports events for children he worked selflessly selflessly to get his village and its people back onto their feet question number 3 how have the people of the community helped one another what role do the women of kalikuru play during these days the people of the community got together and began to help one another under the leadership of young prashant they pressurized the merchant to part with the rice he had uh, hoarded for the people in the shelter they gathered branches from fallen trees to use as firewood for cooking the military helicopter dropped some food parcels but did not return the youth task force gathered empty utensils from the shelter and made the children lie on lie in the sand with the utensils on their stomachs to communicate to the passing helicopters that they were hungry the message went through and the helicopters became more consistent in air dropping food and other basic needs women were mobilized to look after the orphans while the men secured food and materials for the shelter in spite of being grief stricken 
the women started working in the food for work program started by an NGO. Everyone contributed according to their capabilities. The village stood together in their moment of crisis. Question number four. Why do Prashant and other volunteers resist the plan to set up institutions for orphans and widows? What alternati alternatives do they consider? Prashant and his group of young volunteers resisted the plan of setting up institutions for the orphans and widows because they feared that they would be required to lead a life without love, affection and loneliness. Besides, they worried about the stigma that the widows would have to deal with. They alternatively planned to resettle them in their own community to provide them with a homely environment. They suggested setting up foster families that would comprise of childless widows who would take care of the orphan children. Question number five. Do you think Prashant is a good leader? Do you think young people can get together to help people during natural calamities? Yes, Prashant is a good leader. He forgot his personal grief when he saw the plight of his village and villagers, got hold of himself and decided to lead the excavation, evacuation and relief activities. He was able to garner the support of all the villagers and as a team, they stood together in their moment of crisis. This is a great example to emulate. It is a young who should get together to help people in distress. However, simple or severe they may be, they have the physical and mental strength and presence of mind to act in the right manner, simultaneously setting examples to their young ones. Uh, what happened in the evening when Prashant was at his friend's house in Irsama? It was the 27th of October. Young Prashant had gone to his friend's house that was about 18 kilometers from his village. Suddenly, in the evening, a dark storm gathered strong winds started blowing with great speed and uprooted trees. The heavy and, and incessant rains caused the water levels to rise. The angry water rushed inside. They were neck deep in water. Houses, livestock and human beings get raised to the ground and were floating lifelessly. How did Prashant spend the first two days after the cyclone? Prashant was at his friend's house when the cyclone struck. All of them climbed onto the roof of the house to escape the impact of the gushing waters. Of the gushing waters, he was up there for two days. They had nothing to eat but survived on the tender coconuts that had fallen off from the coconut trees that had crashed, crashed on the, onto their roof. Uh, was he to be bereaved once again? Explain. Prashant was stuck for nearly two days on the roof of his friend's house and 48 hours seemed a very long time. He was in tears and was disturbed and concerned about his family and their safety. This doubt occurs to him whether he would be bereaved again because he had already lost his mother seven years back and losing someone again was very painful for the young man. He was therefore worried if he would be bereaved again because of the devastating cyclone. My dear students, I have tried to discuss some of the important questions from this chapter. There may be more questions that can be generated by you. I request you to listen to this content carefully and if you have any doubt, please do ask me. Right dear? Thank you very much.